I got into the vending machine business for a few different reasons. Mainly, I felt as though it was passive enough for me to uh, do while I was still working. With my first vending machine, what it ended up turning into was about $1,600 a month from that one location. But the crazy part was, I was only making $1,600 per month from work. I was like, okay, I'm only doing this for a couple hours out of the week and I'm getting the same thing that I'm getting over here. I should put more energy into this. I am Kashif Edwards and King's Vending Company is my business. When I first started, I was trying to save up money. So I looked into real estate, I looked into stocks. I didn't have the credit for real estate. I didn't have enough money, you know, for the stocks. The first machine I actually brought um, I couldn't put in the building. I brought a machine for a hotel that I found downtown in Philadelphia. So they drove the machine all the way here, got it into the building, looked at the space and said, oh no, it's not gonna fit right there. Long story short, I ended up getting my money back for the machine, luckily, and I didn't end up getting another machine until about a year later. I ended up getting into candy machines, which were the gumball machines. They were average about around $50 a month per machine and I had around 20 something machines so it was equal and it out to somewhere around a thousand dollars a month and then I took another whack at the vending machine thing with my first vending machine I seen about fifty dollars like that first week so I was kind of you know excited what it ended up turning into was about sixteen hundred dollars a month from that one location and that one spot had two machines in there it was a soda and a snack machine they were doing about eight hundred per month I have some locations that do upwards to like 3,000 a month, you know, and then there are other locations that I see, not that I particularly own, but I'll see some as low as like 300, you know, then you have your averages around 500 per machine. You can find many machines on Facebook market, you can find them on Craigslist. The best thing to do is to get them from a distributor. Machines usually cost around 1,500, depending on the type you get. They can go up to 2,500, 3,500 if you get like a combo machine. Just depends on the type. Brand new machines usually start off anywhere from 4,000 and range up which to like 10,000, just depending on the machine. Location is definitely key in understanding your consumer because every location is going to need a different type of product. Traditionally, your apartment complexes are good, your hotels, your motels, your schools, airports. You want to look at the operation hours, like how long is that place open? What days are they open? Foot traffic, how many staff, how many people are coming in and out? Where the machines are placed? Should be placed somewhere visible where people have access to it. Cause you could have a spot, a little barbershop, but only has two chairs. But if that place has a high number of people coming in and out, you can still make decent money. You'll have situations where the location will approach you. They just opened up an office space, they're calling different vending companies, so you'll come in and talk to them. And if they decide to go with you, nine times out of 10, they just want your service. Other times, you'll run into situations where you're looking for the location, and then that's when you could kind of use the commission thing you know, to kind of push them over the edge to get them to let you put the machine in there. But most of the time you don't pay a commission. It's more so about the service. One thing that I struggled with initially when I started my business was finding my resources. So what the app does is it shows you your resources in your area. It shows you where you could get the machines from. It shows you where you can get products from pretty much nationwide. And we have now partnered with locators. So whenever they find a location, they upload it to our app and then anybody that's a user of our app will be notified, hey, there's a location in this area near you. And then they have the opportunity to reach out to the locator and purchase the location if they're interested. My overall goal is I don't want to own a lot of machines. I just want to have, you know, a small number of locations with high earnings. You know, so that's more so my goal is just being, try to be efficient as possible. Do I see myself doing this for the rest of my life? And maybe not just with the vending machines. I want to continue to build and continue to um, streamline the machines and put my systems in place until my kids get old enough, you know, to, to take it over, to step in and kind of, you know, let it, let it help fund whatever dreams that they have.